Hello friends, I Dr. Swaleha Padnan welcomes you all to my YouTube channel Super Psychology Prof. Hello friends, today we are going to study about the industrial and organizational psychology which is also known as IO psychology. In this topic we are going to cover up the meaning of IO psychology, subject matter and function of industrial psychology. The history of IO psychology, cycle IO psychology in the present, future of IO psychology and its application. Industrial psychology is also known as industrial and organizational psychology. It is also known as work psychology, work and organizational psychology, occupational psychology and personnel psychology. Robinson defines organization as a consciously coordinated social unit composed of two or more people that function on a relatively continuous basis to achieve a common goal or set of goals. It is an application of psychological methods, various skills from psychology, principles, research, conclusion to the solution of industrial and organizational workplace problems. It is concerned with the worker management interaction. Organizations are purposeful in the sense that activities and interaction of line organization and staff organization are centrally coordinated to achieve organization specific goals. It is the development and use of new techniques in evaluating employee selection. Organizational psychologists are concerned with personnel activities like employee staffing, recruitment, employee selection, their training and development and many more activities. It identifies the causes of conflict and develop techniques of resolving it. Conflicts are inevitable and has to be solved. Many critical issues are faced by organizational psychologists. For example, improving productivity, work motivation, improving work culture, absenteeism, enhancing motivational level, and many more. Organizational psychologists, they study these issues and help developing solutions which can be applied in industry or organization. Industrial psychologists also advise management of potential psychological and social impact of organizational policy. Friends, let us understand the history of industrial and organizational psychology. Applying psychology to business first appeared in 1903. The first industrial and organizational psychology text appeared in 1910. People who are pioneers of industrial psychology and who developed the tone and structure of industrial and organizational psychology, who brought the revolution in the field of industry are Hugo Munsterberg, James Cattle, Walter Bingham, Harry Landsberger and Walter Dill Scott. Hugo Munsterberg he was a German-American psychologist. He was known as the father of industrial psychology who focused on abilities and work performance. He is one of the pioneers in applied psychology. He was the first man to break ice in industry. His book Psychology and Industrial Efficiency was first industrial and organizational psychology textbook which was published in 1910. He extended his research to industrial and organizational psychology, also to legal field, medical field, clinical, educational and business settings. In 1909, he published paper titled Psychology and the Market in which he suggested how psychology can be used in variety of industrial applications like advertising, employee motivation, decision making and many more aspects. He is also well known for his contribution to forensic psychology.
James McKean Cattle, an American psychologist who was the first professor of psychology in the United States teaching at the University of Pennsylvania. He was a professor and he applied psychology in the field of education, mental testing, industry and advertising. He used the objective experimental methods, mental testing and application of psychology to the field of education, business, industry and advertising. Cattle used a statistical method of and quantification of data which helped in the development of American psychology as an experimental science. He stressed the importance of quantification, ranking and rating. Walter Bingham was an applied and industrial psychologist who made significant contribution to intelligence and aptitude testing in industry. He founded first university department of applied psychology at Carnegie Institute of Technology in 1970. He also wrote a book on aptitude and aptitude testing. Bingham got his start in experimental psychology receiving his PhD at the University of Chicago. Harry Landsberger carried out many experiments at the Hawthorne plant, which is a western electric factory outside Chicago in the United States. This Hawthorne uh, effect is also known as observer's effect. It is a type of reactivity in which individuals modify an aspect of their behavior in response to their awareness of being observed. He found that the people change their behavior due to attention they are receiving from researchers or rather than any other variable. It was suggested that the productivity gain occurred as a result of the motivational effect on the workers of the interest being shown in them by the researchers. Effect of change in variables resulted in increase of productivity. To name few variables, increase and decrease in the illumination of light, co-workers providing 5 minutes break, providing lunch, shortening the day by 30 minutes. By introducing such variable, he found increase in productivity. Walter Dill Scott was one of the first applied psychologists. He applied psychology to various business practices such as personal selection and advertising. Personal selection method included the tests, rating skills to rate on necessary skills and attributes which was the basic contribution of Walter Dill Scott to the field of psychology. Friends, let us understand what industrial and organizational psychologists they do in various fields. Firstly, they do research. They do research in schools, they do research in colleges and at university level. Secondly, they work in psychology departments. They are working as a trainer, they are working as a facilitator, they are working as an assessor, they are working as a coach or even they give the consultancy. In business school, they do the teaching, they do the research work and they are concerned with the admissions. In human resources department, HRD department, they are consultant to the organization and they help solve the problems of organization. Professionalism of industrial and organizational psychology. Professions what psychologists do in industry. They participate in activities of APA, which is American Psychologist Association. They do the application of scientific research in organization or professional bodies, public affairs, in workplace setting, they are into the concern of manufacturing, commercial aspect, labor union and 
health care. They are also concerned with the uh, ethics. They do employee testing with the various tests which are available in psychology like intelligent test, personality test, aptitude test, etc. They do the leadership development. They are considered, they are working as a per personnel administrators, director of training institutions where they do the training design, they design the training uh, aspect. Organizational research supervisors, they work as a human resources director. They promote human rights and welfare. They do licensing of business and ethics. Education of industrial and organizational psychology. Bachelor's degree, which is of three years. Advanced degree, where the degree and experience is counted. Master's degree, which is of two years. Doctoral degree is of four years and internship. This is the educational aspect of industrial and organizational psychology. In future of industrial and organization psychology, there are various jobs that one can choose to focus in on. One particular job is that of providing training in the workplace. You can take the seminars and do the brainstorming at workplace having many uh, workshops at the workplace to motivate the people and employees and improving their productivity then teaching seminars where you can take the recent issues and have a debate on that then talking to people enhancing the communication training strategies we can decide. Apart from that, the new generation of industrial psychologists, they can study the unique person who perceive the, pursue the special psychology or knowing the characteristics of the people who choose industrial and organizational psychology as their uh, education field and career bringing public awareness of importance of industrial and organizational psychology. Also, we can be of, uh, we can be of interest to take the human rights, the relationship at workplace, organizational climate, organizational culture, and many other aspects you can pursue as professionalism in future of industrial and organizational psychology. Application Industry Academic Connect. Research and development today is about networking and sharing. Collaboration between industry and academia are promoted by open innovation programs. They are organizing various interviews and tests. Industry and academic scientists whose careers are already underway can connect through initiatives from companies, government offices and private organization institutions, industry fellowship from the Royal Society, the United Kingdom's National Academy of Science, support open-ended industry academic collaboration, organizing various seminars, conferences and many more social events can help get connected with the new freshers and with the industry. Thank you for watching my video. Do like, share and subscribe. Uh, press bell icon for my new videos. I would like to hear the comments from you on my videos which will help me to improve my videos. Thank you so much and be tuned to the next video.